All right, today we're working on a 425 Cummings engine oil reservoir, I'm sorry, water reservoir that's got a leak. This seal right here has failed. So we're gonna put on a new reservoir, which we've ordered and it came in. So we have to take off this bolt here, which has a nut under it, and this bolt here, which has a nut under it. Those two are easy. Over here, however, we have a nut here, which has a bolt on the back side that's going to be hard to get to, and this one, which has the nut on the back side, which we can't access. So this one will be the hardest one. This is in a Tiffin Allegra Bus Motorhome 2008. I'll get back with you as soon as I get some nuts loose. Okay, so we've got two bolts out on this side. Those are really simple. We came over to this side. We stuck our socket in from this side on the back, and we used a wrench to undo this nut. Now what we've done is we've taken our socket and stuck it, it lifted this side up over here so we've got dis distance here. We've put our socket in here, and now I'm just undoing that nut right there, which is really simple, and we're gonna be done. Give me 10 seconds, I'll be back. To the bottom. All right, so now we've got all the bolts loose and it took us less than 15 minutes. Now we've got these two hoses here that have to come off. There's also one right there that has to come off. So we're going to... sensor and a sensor. And a sensor in the back right there that has to come off. I don't know if you can see that. But we'll pull it out and you'll see. Again, this is a 425 Cummins in a 2008 Tiffin Allegra bus with a rear or I'm sorry, side radiator discharge. Be right back. All right, so we disconnected the two hoses here and the overflow here. We pulled it forward, not knowing what the heck I was doing, and this sensor connector just unplugged from the sensor itself. So now we have to do is undo that cord, that hose right there, and then put it back together. And that looks like a 5 sixteenths uh, a hose clamp. Be right back. All right, so all we did was pull the hose off of here and we got it laid here, and the other two hoses that were on here are tied up top. So now he's gonna lift it out. And then we're gonna take the sensor out, we're gonna unscrew this, and put it back in the new one, and then put it back in. All right, so here's a new one. We've got the new sensor put in right here. All it did was unscrew and come right out. The plastic stays on on the new ones. It's empty, and we're gonna set it back in place. All right, now first of all, we want to hook the hoses up and the sensor on the back, but we're just doing a dry fit to make sure that it fits in there. Okay, all the hoses are back on. We've got these hose, this hose back on here, the hose there, and we've got the sensor back in right there. Now what we've got to do is put the four bolts back in, put the antifreeze in it, and we're done. Okay, what we thought we'd do is we'd stop and show you. This bolt here is not the easiest one to get to. So what we did is we put, all right, so what we did is we put the bolt in the hole first, then we lifted it up and put it in at an angle to line it up with the bolt hole, and that's how you get it back in easily. You do this one first. Okay, so now we've got all the bolts back in on all four sides. What you wanna do is make sure you put them in before you put the nuts on so that you can lock everything down. Now we're gonna put the hoses on. It's easy to remember because one is longer than the other, so it's easy to see where it goes. Then you put the clamps back on and put the antifreeze in, you're done. Okay, everything's done but adding the antifreeze. On the internet it said it takes four hours. My, my buddy got here at 1049, he showed up at 1049. It is now 1122 and we're done. So you figure setup time and everything, if it took us 20 minutes to pull the reservoir, reservoir and put it back on, I'd be exaggerating. That was one of the simplest things we've ever done. I hope y'all have good luck again. This is a Cummins 425 engine, side radiator where the reservoir was split to replace it in less than 30 minutes.